morning, everybody. This is Shakira um, from Goodwill Columbus, one of your community connectors. And this morning is Friday, that are Friday, May twenty second, and we are going to be doing um, our healthy eating segment today. I have my helper Christian right here. He's going to be helping me, and we are going to be, be making uh, strawberry and cream overnight oats. So my goal was to make one of these and put it in a refrigerator overnight so that you can see the end result. But the end result actually looks like the finished product. You just want to make sure that it chills for at least two hours. So Christian's already getting ahead of us. Um, the ingredients that we're going to need this morning are, what's this? Strawberries. Strawberries. And we have pre-washed our strawberries already. Um, so we don't need to wash those. And then we are going to be using flaxseed. As added fiber and then we are going to have our yogurt I know each week that I've used yogurt I've used a different kind of yogurt so today I am using um, just the uh, low-fat strawberry yogurt the uh, great value brand from Walmart um, yeah I was going to use the weed but um, someone that I love very dearly ate my weed this week so I'm not I'm not gonna complain um, <laughs> and then we also need our oats so we have a big uh, canister of the Quaker oats here and we are going to need milk and as you guys probably remember I'm a fan of almond milk so I have my almond milk here that I'm going to be using and I forgot to get my measuring cup so let me grab that give me one second okay so we can go ahead and get started I am going to have Christian help me by taking the, can you take these little green stems off of your tummy? Christian has washed his hands too, in case you guys are wondering. Go ahead and pull those off for me. You can pull them off and I'll cut them up, okay? Here, put them, oh, you got the trash, okay, go ahead. You pull all the little stems off the strawberries and I'll start cutting them up, okay? All right. Okay, so we, with our strawberries, we're going to get rid of this little uh, piece with the stem on it. And then we are just going to dice these up any way that you can. Just make sure you get uh, fairly small pieces. You're not missing the trash can over there, are you? Okay, I see you. Got a nice little shot on there, Christian. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, I hope everybody is doing all right this morning. It is Friday, and we made it. We absolutely did. So, um, some of the other materials that you are going to need for this recipe. Don't smash them, Christian. Some of the other things that you're going to need for this recipe is a bowl to mix everything in. You're going to need, um, I couldn't find my one cup measuring cup, so I'm going to be using my half cup as many times as I need. And then I have my, you can help when it's time for that part, okay? And then I have my mason jars to store my oats in, so you'll see um, how we'll need those in the end. Okay, give me one second, I'll just cut these up a little more. All right. Christian, you look bored. Can you do me a favor and get this, um, can you open that for me? I'll pull that up. Oh, did some splash at you? <laughs> you want to eat it right now? Here, I got an extra cup. Christian is ready to eat right now, guys, so I am going to let him eat some yogurt. Don't eat this one, though. Here, have this one. Can you get that open? All right. Let's see. Um, guys, remember that today is Friday, so at noon, Victor will be doing his um, Friday dance party, so you want to make sure that you tune in for that, okay? I know that is always a fun time here in my household. <laughs> and I like to stream it from the TV so that we can get everything uh Everybody can feel like we're in a party mood. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start putting this together. So first, I'm going to go ahead and take my oats. And now, I need, uh, I'm going to be using 
um, a cup and a half of oats and a cup and a half of a uh, cup and a half of my milk. Now it's one part to one part, so if you're just doing this, like and you're just making one portion for yourself, you can do um, a half a cup of oats and a half a cup of milk. It's equal parts oats and milk. Um, and if it's too thick, then you can either add a little more milk or a little bit of water to loosen it up, uh, whatever your preference is. For overnight oats, I do like my oats to be thick. Typically, if I make an oatmeal, I don't like just the regular way where it's hot. I don't like it. I don't like it thick. So anyway, I have my half a cup measuring cup here, so I'm going to use that three times and put my oats in there. Uh-oh, Christian, did you say you wanted to do this, or are you too busy eating? You want to pour it? Put it in there. How many is that? One? We need three. Can you do the next one? One more. Go ahead, pour it in there. Two. And one more. Ready? Three. Okay, you got it. Okay, and the next one we are going to do get our milk ready. You gonna pour the milk too? I might have needed a bigger bowl, a bigger mixing bowl. I think I will. Okay, guys, I do not want my um, oats and milk to spill out, so I know this is kind of an oversized bowl, but we are going to pour everything into there. Go ahead and pour that in here, Christian. Oh, there we go. There we go. I know mean, we need to get to our milk ready. You ready to do the milk? I will hold the, um, I will pour this and you hold this. Nope, hold it by the handle. And so when I fill it up, then you can dump it into the bowl, okay? One. We need three of these too, okay? That's one. Hold it steady. Hold it tight. Okay, go ahead. Two. How many more we need? Three. Yeah, th well, just one, so make three. And go ahead and pour that in there. All right, good job. Okay, there. You want to give that a mix or you want me to mix it? I'll mix it. You want to mix it? Okay, go ahead. Now remember, you need to hold the bowl on this side like this and mix from the bottom. Like that. I'm going to get you guys a little closer so you can see Christian mixing the oats up. Keep mixing. Get it all soaked in. Next, we're going to add the strawberries in, okay? Mm -hmm. Oh, you lost my spoon. <laughs> mm -hmm. You want to put the strawberries in? Okay. Okay, while you put those in, I will cut these other ones up, okay? Here's your napkin for when you're done. Wipe your hands off. Careful now, you're just slopping it in there. I guess it don't matter as long as it gets in there, huh? Right. Yeah, but I had to cut some more. Let's go ahead and put the rest of these in there too. Okay. Put that in 
the napkin with you. Wipe your hands. So I am going to tip this so you guys can kind of see what that's looking like now. Still a little mi uh, milky, but that's fine because as these sit overnight in your refrigerator, the oats will definitely absorb all the uh, milk and then it'll thicken up for you. Now, the good thing about these overnight oats is that you, after you take them out of the refrigerator, you can literally just take it and eat it cold. Um, or if you prefer to put it in the microwave, you can put it in the microwave for about 60 seconds just to get it warm through. But the good thing about it, doing it ahead of time, you can just grab it out your refrigerator and go. Like if you are leaving out for the next morning, you don't have time to sit down and eat. Definitely something to grab and go. So next I am going to put in a cup of my strawberry yogurt. So we have that there, and we're going to mix that in. Oh, I mix it. Oh, let's put this in here. I'll let you guys see as he mix it. Hey, good morning, everybody. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> All right, starting to thicken up. It smells amazing, too. All right, now, well, we, look, he said now we should bake it because usually we make um, oatmeal bars in the oven. Maybe I'll make them for you one day, um, but we're not baking it today. We're going to put this in the refrigerator. So no baking today. We are making. Okay, so and here is my flat seeds, and we're going to use two I tablespoons of these. Okay, okay, okay. Um, we're going to use two tablespoons of these. Um, the flax seeds, remember, they are a good source of fiber and calcium. And then uh, they also aid in digestion. Here, you got to very carefully pick this. Scoop that up. Don't flick it. It'll spill them out. And then put that in there. That's one. You need one more. Oh! <laughs> oh, you got them everywhere. No, we only need two tablespoons of flax seeds, okay? Okay. Um, here, now you could go ahead and mix that up. You want to mix that up? Come up high on your knees. So now we have the flax seeds in there. Keep mixing. I know we should have gotten a bigger spoon. This spoon was for the smaller bowl, and I didn't change my spoon when I changed the bowl. My bad. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and just mix this through a little more to get this mixed in. No, 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 stop picking those off of there. Put those ones in the trash. Okay, so we are gonna keep mixing this around. I actually want more strawberries, guys, so give me one second. I'm gonna rinse off some more strawberries and put some in here. It said, the recipe that I'm using said a cup of strawberries, but I'm going to use uh, another half cup of strawberries. You done helping, Christian? I will keep helping with that. Okay, well, you got to come back if you're going to keep helping. I'm going to cut the strawberries and you can put them in, okay? Okay. Slide over. Slide, slide over. Okay, so I'm just going to push this back a little bit. You can go ahead and take the stems off for me, okay? And just put them right there in that pile. I didn't throw that one. You did destroy that one. Okay, put the, put the stems right here in this pile for now, okay? Put those 
in after you're done, okay? Okay. No, these ones. Go ahead and put those ones in. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, put those in the bowl. You wake up, Piper. <laughs> no, no, no. Don't throw it like that. You're going to splash it everywhere. Here. Um, wiping your hands on your shirt? I don't think so. Policeman? Okay, this is the last set. Go ahead and put those into the bowl. You know, this recipe did not call for honey, but I am going to put some honey in here because I know you want to do the honey. Oh, I'm not dropping anything, I swear. Yes, I am. So you can use fresh or uh, frozen strawberries or whatever berry you decide to use. Um, and yes, Kristen, I'll let you put the honey in. So I have a, a different spoon here. I'm going to let them go ahead and hold it. And I am using the organic raw honey. Um, you can get this from Sam's Club, Kroger, or Walmart is typically where I get it from. Sam's Club, you can get a two for like whatever it's a cheap it's a better bargain at a uh, sam's club if you have if you have a membership okay let's see and just put we're just going to put one uh big heap of tea, uh, spoonful in there and right, put it in and go ahead and mix that around Thank you for your your help, young man. I'll take it from here. Okay, so I am going to go ahead and take my mason jars. I got these cute little uh, mason jars from Family Dollar, and they were only a dollar and fifty cent each. Um, so it goes in the color scheme of my kitchen. So I just went ahead and got uh, six of these. So anyway, so with our oats, we are going to go ahead and take uh, and fill up our jars. If you don't have um, these type of jars, you can put this in a mug and put like some um, some plastic wrap over it. You can put it in whatever kind of sealable container if that's what you prefer to use. Um, I was looking for these little jars specifically for this project because in a long haul when I do um, make things like this, I would like to take it and grab it and go. Um, so I'm not having to sit down and really think about breakfast in the morning. I can just get it all ready at night. I'm going to take my paper towel and clean that off. And then they have these great little latches and they're airtight so you don't have to worry about anything spilling when you want to put this in your uh, lunch bag the next day. And you just like latch it with this little latch here. And I'm going to go ahead and fill up this other jar that I already prepped and washed. The other ones I'm going to have to wait on because I only cleaned out these two. Washed these two for this uh, this morning. I'm going to try these both ways. Maybe I'll do a video and post it um, later about after they sit because the recipe says to let these sit in the refrigerator either overnight or for at least two hours. So I'm going to let them sit and then I'm going to eat one warmed up. Hmm, how can I warm that up? In this, in this jar? I'm going to have to pour it into something else and warm it up. And then I'll try it that way, and then versus the cold, and then we'll see which one comes out better. 
so there's different variations of this and I can actually post a link from uh, Pinterest that I use to find this recipe and then you guys can make it online or make it on your own find it online and make it on your own two jars of the strawberry and cream um, overnight oatmeal so if you want to try that um, you have all your ingredients that I showed you you can modify this in any way that you want but you do not have to um, follow what I did strictly in fact the recipe that I use called for China seeds which I did not have and I have never bought before but I do have flax seeds and I put these in my smoothies so as a heads up I've never tried these before, but I can't wait to taste them and see how it turns out. So, thank you all for watching. Talk to you later. Bye.